Hello everyone, it's great to see you again. My name's Mike. Hello, I'm Costas. Hi, I'm Tim. And I'm Raul. Hi. So, this is our fourth lesson on Cuba. If you haven't seen videos one, two and three, please go and watch those before you see this one because we're not going to recap all the different rhythms that we learnt in the other videos. But tell you what, what we are going to do right at the beginning, we're going to play through everything we've got. So if you've decided already perhaps which instrument you're going to play that we taught in one of those previous lessons, pick it up now and let's have a go at playing our piece all the way through. Here we go. Two. Oh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Wow, that is really such fun to do. So, as you know, all this music comes from Cuba. But where is Cuba? You know, Cuba is one of those places, isn't it, that we often hear about, but if we've got a map of the world and we're asked to pinpoint where it is, we might not be able to do it exactly. So look, here we go. Here is a map of the world. Can you see where we've got that red circle? That red circle over here. There we go. We're going to zoom in on it. There is Cuba. So you see it's kind of in the Atlantic Ocean there, just south of the United States, um, just east of Mexico and Guatemala and uh, north of South America as well. So it's in the sort of Caribbean there. That is where Cuba is. So if you find, if I zoom back out again, if you find where you live in the world, you can see how long would a plane perhaps take to get you to Cuba. There we go. That would be great, wouldn't it? And if your parents haven't yet um, booked your summer holiday, um, make sure you tell them that Cuba would be a great place for you to go to. Um, really good. So we've got some images of Cuba behind us. And... Um, Costas, we love your red car, we love your beach, but uh, yes, where, you yeah, where about are you? I'm in a great place that it's called Zardines del Rey and means the King's Garden. And it's an archipelago off the northern coast of Cuba and with hundreds of small islands around me with white sand. And also I can see flamingos wander around the lagoons. It's a fantastic place, very nice. Wow, it does look absolutely amazing there, great. And Tim, Tim, where, where about you? Hi, yeah, well, I'm in a place called Baracao, and this is a place on the eastern end of the island that forms Cuba. And the eastern end is to the right-hand side when you're looking at the map, and that means it's nearest to the sea. And for that reason, it's probably the place where Christopher Columbus, it's believed to be the place where Christopher Columbus landed when he sailed over there from Portugal. And um, the, it's certainly uh, widely held that it's the place where the first people who settled in Cuba came to live back in wow. the 1400s and the 1500s. Wow, so a very long time ago. It looks very beautiful there. Great, thank you. Um, and then Raoul, you've got a lovely car behind you, some amazing looking houses behind you as well. Where Ooh, about are you? Uh, well, I can park here. It's a special kind of a car park. I'm in Havana. Actually, we say Havana Vieja because it's the, the, the capital and it's the, the oldest part of, um, of Cuba. I mean, it's amazing because it's got loads and loads of um, buildings, very significant buildings, uh, thousands. Um, it's got um, loads of castles and uh, cathedrals and convents and palaces, uh, wealthy castles as well. And, um, you know, it's a very important uh, buildings and it goes on for about five centuries, would you believe it? Wow. 
Amazing, thank you, Al. And and then my image here as well. You see the one that I'm I'm in. This is um, a bit. This is a little bit confusing. I need to move out of the way. Which way do I move? Shall I move? I tell you, I'll move this way. There you go. You can see the tower there. Look at that. Wow. Doesn't that look amazing? Amazing buildings there. And this is a place um, sort of on the west coast there. Um, and it, this is called. Trinidad to Cuba. Now Trinidad, we can't get confused because Trinidad is also the name of another island in uh, the Caribbean where steel pans music comes from. Maybe we'll have to do some steel pans music another time. But there is also a city in Cuba called Trinidad to Cuba and it's actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site because there are such amazing buildings. A little bit like Havana where, where Raul is. And some of these amazing buildings, they are huge, they're big mansions and this was because Back a couple of hundred years ago, when there was a, the slave trade and all the sugar plantations here, this is where all the wealthy landowners, the people who made an awful lot of money out of that, they all built huge, huge mansions here. Um, but it's now an amazing place to really go and see around. So that, that's kind of where, where we all are. Um, but also, if you go to Cuba, you might get one of these drinks. Now, you might look at that, you might think, oh, now what's that? That just looks like some Coke. Hmm. Certainly tastes like some Coca-Cola, but they make it a bit different in Cuba. So, so Raul, can you can you tell us what would they call this in Cuba and, and why? Well, of course, many countries, they have different uh, kind of drinks to celebrate. Like the French has got the champagne and we have a nice cup of tea. And, uh, but they, they had a special time. You know, as you saw, if you remember the map, very close to other countries like to America, to Honduras, to, and so many other countries had their hand, their, their influence, and Cuba was like, oh no, and one day they got independence, that means freedom, that means libre, Cuba libre. Yeah, so they made that um, Coke, Coca-Cola and lime, that, that kind of drink, to celebrate the freedom and their independence. There was at the end of sort of like the 19th century, and they call it Cuba Libre. Cuba Libre. So that is the name of that drink. So next time you have a Coke and you put some lime and you put some ice with it, you can think that actually you are drinking a, a drink from Cuba, Cuba Libre. I say, we could use that name of that drink and put it as a little bit of a rhythm in our piece of music, couldn't we? So if we think um, the name of that drink is Cuba Libre, and we could say Cuba Libre is made with Coke and lime. Shall we say that together? A one, two, three, four. Cuba Libre is made with Coke and lime. I don't really like that rhythm, it sounds really good. Let's try it more. One, two, three, four. Cuba Libre is made with Coke and lime. Great. And then, oh, we're missing something. Coke and lime, ah, a bit of ice. That's what it is. Cuba Libre is made with Coke and lime. And a little bit of ice. Wow, we've got to put that in the end. So it's like a nice little rhythmic sentence we're putting here together. Let's try it more. One, two, three, four. Cuba Libre is made with Coke and lime and a little bit of ice. So do you hear, after we've said the word lime, there's like two clicks, two little beats rest before we say, and a little bit of ice. Should we try this one? One, two, three, four. Cuba Libre is made with Coke and lime and a little bit of ice. Great. Now I wonder, could we hear Raoul play that rhythm on the bongos? Can we hear it? Well, this is the right instrument for it. Why? Because there's two different sounds. So we go, Cuba. there you go, two different sounds. The large one, the uh, small one. So, Cuba, Libre, it like the Coke and I. Let's do it again. Cuba, Libre, it's my Coke and lime. And a little bit of ice. So we do it again. Once more time, together. Ready? I uh, want to be fantastic. Huh? Brilliant. Thank you, Raoul. That's great. Uh, I was just having a little sip of it. Um, really nice. Good. So I tell you what. Um, so if you are playing the bongos or something that's got the two different sounds, you can do that doing the low high, low high. You can do that on there. But it might be that you've got an instrument that can't make different sounds. Well, maybe if you're playing the maracas. You could just do that, 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 
da, 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 da. you can still put a bit of movement in it, that'd be nice, because you know, a lot of these Cuban musics, they have lots of dances that go with it as well, so anything that we as the percussionists and drummers can be doing to move around as well, that gets us into the right mood for it. Um, it could be, of course, if you've just got the clave, you can't really make two sounds out of clave, so you're just going to play the whole thing as one sound. That's quite tricky to get that last bit there as well. And probably the same with the guiro as well. You can maybe just play around a little bit with going up and down, but it might be easiest initially just to do it all going straight down or straight up um, that way. Great, so what we need to do, we need to put this little break at the beginning of our tune. So remember before we did it and Raoul played the trumpet melody first of all, well, we're now gonna put this before the trumpet melody. So we're gonna play it as a little break, we're gonna call it. And then we're going to play the trumpet melody, and then, before Raoul and I start singing the melody, we're going to put it in again. So, so it comes, it's a bit tricky to get the timing right, but shall we give this all a go? Shall we give it everyone all together? Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Wow, really great fun. Now, there's a couple of really clever musical things we're doing there. The first thing is, I'm going to say the word syncopation. Wow, can you say syncopation? Syncopation. Now, that thing we've been doing, that kuba li ble, it's quite hard to work out exactly how the rhythm goes. It feels a bit jumpy, a bit dancey. Can you go and watch one of our, I think, Tim, it was our West African video, wasn't it, Tim, I think? That's right, yeah. Yeah, so I think it was maybe, I think it's in West African video number three. There we go, yeah. So Tim did a fantastic explanation of what we mean by syncopation. So we're not going to repeat ourselves now, but go and watch that video and you'll see exactly what we mean by syncopation. So that's the first thing to think about. The other thing is, often in this style of music, we talk about, with musicians, we say, oh, let's play the break. What do you mean play the break? No, break is when you, you have a break, you're going to have a cup of tea, you're going to have a biscuit, you know. Well, in music, a break is when you do something different from what you have been doing. So when you think about, we've all been playing our clave, our maracas, our cowbell rhythms over and over again. Remember when we play a rhythm over and over again, it's called a pattern. So we've been doing these patterns over and over again, but then we play the cuba libre as a break. Now, normally in a break, you don't repeat it over and over again. You kind of play through the thing once. So our Cuba Libre is made with coke and lime and a little bit of ice. It's like a whole rhythmic sentence, like one long line. We play it once and then we go back to doing other things. That's why it's called a break. It's a break from doing whatever you've been doing before. I think we should have another go at playing it because I tell you what, I'm only just getting in the mood now. It's really good. I'm really enjoying being here in Trinidad to Cuba. And I know all the other guys are really enjoying. I know Costas, yeah, you look like you need to go and jump in that sea behind you. Um, looks really inviting. So, shall we give it another go? We're going to start with our brick. Here we go. Two, one, two. Oh, 
Wow, absolutely brilliant. Really great. I'm loving this Cuban music we're playing. So remember, that's not the end of this lesson. Go and answer all the questions on the quiz on our website, inspire-works.co.uk. Go and find the free YouTube workshops part of our website and you'll find the right quiz where you can make sure you can make sure you can prove that you have remembered everything that we've taught you today. Also, if you haven't yet done so, please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see all the different videos we're doing and we will see you for our last Cuban workshop next time. Thanks so much everyone. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.